Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. As you can tell by the title, today's video will be a little different than what I have done in the past. Specifically, this video is about explosive weapons and even more specifically, testing various different types of weapons that have the explosive attribute, the explosive mod, uh, to basically see if they're all pretty much the same or if one could be better potentially than another, such as, uh, you know what, I won't I won't spoil it yet, but I'm gonna show you what, what I've got. Uh, these, these weapons were gifted to me by uh, Derpy Josh and the 69 Boom. They both uh, gave me some weapons to check out so that you guys can see for yourself what each one is like. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for all the support on the channel and everything that you guys have been doing. Uh, you know, definitely make sure to comment below and let me know. Uh, let, here we go. Let's let me ask you a couple questions. One, what type of build are you rocking? Are you sporting? What what type of build are you playing with? And two, do you have any explosive weapons yourself? And if so, uh, do you like using them or do they kind of ruin the game for you? Some people argue that they ruin the game uh, and I, you know, I don't know for me personally. I just like them because they're super fun to use and yes, they do destroy everything and that's the point. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to be checking out these explosive weapons in today's video. Let's go ahead and let's get right into it. Alright, so first and foremost, let me show you what I've got. Or let me just... Let me just pull them out here. So I got a couple. Di I got a couple different ones. Okay, you guys. If you're not, if you haven't seen yet, uh, if you're maybe new to the channel and you've never seen my videos, you can go back and watch them if you're interested. I've got all kinds of Fallout content, guides, uh, different reviews, uh, you know, special little tricks and tips and things like that, leveling guides, different looking at different weapons, things like that, talking about different builds. I mean, I've I've covered a lot already, and uh, uh, we've we've covered a couple different a couple different explosive weapons already, uh, specifically the shotguns that I have. And this new one that I've been using, which is uh, my absolute favorite, um, it's a double barrel, it's a double double barrel, and so it's got double the ammo capacity, and it's just a ton of fun to use. So I also have a couple new ones, though, that are worth checking out, such as... Um, so we we check this one out. This is the original shotgun that I used forever ago I also have a couple of different things like the two-shot uh, Hardened lever action rifle that somebody gave me faster movement speed while aiming. So we'll check that one out We also have this one which was given to me a two-shot refined 10 millimeter submachine gun Which actually sounds like it could be extremely good bullets explode for area damage uh, then this two shot the dragon. I have two of them, but this one's insane because it does uh, Explosive damage and it actually has pretty good accuracy And so we're gonna check out all of those ones in today's video And I should also say another thing that he gifted to me were these uh, Which I didn't even realize you could do this but uh, getting the different actually I didn't know that you can do this um, But I didn't know you can get like database. I don't even I didn't even know that was a thing I knew you could calibrate it, but not the database the heck was that do you hear that crap so um he gave me these uh calibrated excavator legs and then this database excavator helmet and both of these when you equip both of these gives you like a ton more carry and weight which i freaking love so yeah this is what we're going to be testing out today now i need to get some more rad damage and i also because i'm using adrenal i should say this too if you ha if you don't know i'm using adrenal reaction what the crap stinking Ghouls over here or something with yeah Get out of here Destroying my freaking jennies and stuff Come on, man. Uh, yeah, if you don't know I've got um Jeez I've got adrenal reaction and so if you don't know what adrenal reaction is Basically you get lower HP and the lower your HP is the more damage you do I also got I got one. I don't want I was farming them and I got the two that I wanted, like, right away, but then I got Herbivore, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, that's, that's, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, the, the, you know, the potential problem with, uh, with farming, uh, f farming, man, I remember used to, I remember back in the day, oh, I almost, thought I almost just shot myself. I remember back in the day when... It was so hard to kill these things, and now I can like easily one-shot them. 
Uh, yeah, so I, uh, that's the problem with farming mutations, that you might get one that you don't want. Alright, let's, uh, oh yeah, what I'm gonna do to test these, I'm gonna go to the behemoth in the, uh, in the Solomon's Pond, because I'm gonna, like, you know, it's got a lot of HP, and so we can easily probably get some good testing. It's slow, she's an easy target, I think that'll be a good spot to go. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I do have, uh, this is, this is my, another new favorite, it's a, an ex it's a two-shot explosive handmade. Uh, this one right here. Two shot hardened piercing handmade with explosive. Um, really good to really great. I am really curious about this 10 millimeter submachine gun. I think it's gonna shred things down like super easily. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be testing out is the two shot refined 10 millimeter submachine gun with the bullets explode for area damage effect. Okay, so this thing should be insane actually. Look, that's just nothing but explosive damage, and it does 360. F I'm not specced at all for anything like this, other than the explosion part. It's a level 50 weapon, three stars. So let's see what we can do. I, I have to imagine that this thing's going to die very. So I don't even know if this is even a good test. Okay, so one shot did that much damage. So let's see. I mean, it's it, nothing. You, I mean, what what can anything do to you if you have an explosive, an explosive type weapon? I mean, really, it can't. Nothing can get close to you. Uh, it's it's a little insane. Ooh, ooh, nice. It's a little insane. Anything anything explosive is is a little crazy. I need to find like a big group of something and test this out against it. All right, I got the ghouls. I got the ghouls here. Let's see what this thing can do against the big, massive... <laughs> with, um, with marsupial. So, like, usually, you know, you've got to, like, when you jump, you got to, like, really aim to make sure you hit with uh, the explosive weapons. But with something like this, I guess if you don't mind wasting tons of ammo, you could just jump into the air and spray and pray with it. <laughs> This is a little crazy, because it's like super, you know, this is a not a very accurate way of doing things, but, you know, it works, and you don't have to really waste time aiming, you just, and since, since 10 machine gun ammo is, uh, 10 millimeter, uh, submachine gun ammo is so, like, readily available, like, you find it everywhere, you can probably afford to do this with uh this type of weapon i mean that's just, it's just crazy because if i try to do this with like a shotgun or something when you jump like if you're zoomed in or whatever i guess you don't even really need to worry about that we can just like kind of aim in the general location but obviously if you don't have something that fires fast enough you you uh you know you have to worry about reloading and stuff and so i mean it's just it's a little crazy like this is a little this this thing's insane uh i should also say too that if you find me in game, I'm not going to, okay, so I'm most likely not going to keep, like I'm not gonna use the majority of these. And so uh, I guess if whoever gave them to me wants to get them back, just let me know. But um, you know, I, I'd i be up for handing this to somebody if this is, if this would be something that you want. So just let me know and find me in game and I'm willing to hook you up. All right, uh, this thing is, this thing's quite crazy. Quite crazy indeed. And uh, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, that's, this is the 10 millimeter submachine gun. All right, I'm down here in Glass Cavern and I'm gonna test out this uh, handmade just to see how well it does against Scorch Beast. Because the problem with the, look at this, oh my gosh. This is, uh, the problem with the shotgun is that I have I have a problem shooting th Scorch Beast in the air because of the fact that the shotgun just for whatever reason doesn't seem capable, oh my goodness, doesn't seem capable of taking them out or like doing damage when they're flying around. And it, I, and it doesn't have anything to do with accuracy, it's just something to do with how the Scorch Beasts are like, I don't know if they're like the programming of it or whatever, uh, but it just seems like they have more armor or the shotgun's effects are limited. Maybe the game's like, this is a shotgun, you're not supposed to be, 
you're not supposed to be shooting these things in the air with the shotgun. You know what I mean? Like, maybe it's just like the game's way of saying, no, that's not how it works. And so I wanted to test it out against Scorch Beasts that were flying around. Oh my gosh. Now this one is level 50. I can't even see what's happening. But that's, that's the main thing that I really wanted to get was something like this. So that, gosh, these things are, they're so crazy. Uh, that's the main thing I wanted to do is test this out and see what it was like against some flying scorch beasts and I have to say that this thing is definitely definitely effective for sure I mean I've used this against like you know just regular things like kind of roaming around um, and it does pretty well but that's what I really wanted I thought that was some kind of weird egg or something because it was glowing off of that but yeah you you get what I'm you get what I'm trying to say right like uh, it's just the shotgun for whatever reason doesn't work very well on uh, the score speeds that are flying around and so I had to had to give it a go and see what it was like and you know the fact that it's it just has better range and stuff too which is really you know I don't know though it's this is just as effective from range uh, like on regular things where did that scorch beast go anyway I, I that's why I wanted to come here to test this out but I'm also here because I want to test out that two shot on the level 80 that's in there and just uh, the two shot dragon and just see how quickly we can we can kill that thing with uh, with that also I want to test out the uh, the lever action too against uh, you know some just regular enemies too and just see how good that is okay so I didn't actually realize until now it doesn't say it but this thing has explosive too these are all explosive weapons uh that's interesting and so the damage is going up because of tenderizer but um i didn't think this thing had explosive on it but i guess if i inspect it yeah there we go bullets explode for area damage shoots an additional projectile so it's actually a two-shot hardened lever action rifle with faster movement speed while aiming bullets explode for area damage and this shoots an additional i mean it's crazy so uh never mind i thought that this thing was just going to be a regular weapon but it it also has the explosive aspect what's the let's look here what's the 79 207 range so that's pretty dang good but let's look at this two shot dragon 419 range and hey, man so uh yeah pretty crazy weapons to say the least um i i'm not sh i'm not sure about this thing though but given the fact that it's because i mean you know you get an exploit you get in a, a level lever action you're wanting to shoot I'm, i keep wanting to shoot at them uh instead of at the ground so i mean it's like why would i use this over something that fires quicker or whatever you know what i mean and so um I was going to think like, oh, I'll test this out against the Scorch Beast at the end and see how good it is. But honestly, it's like, it's the same as uh, any other <laughs> explosive weapon, really. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I was thinking it was just a regular one. I didn't even realize it had explosive on it. So, I guess, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that. I guess the, the really good thing about this is that I can use it, I can use it in VATS. And get that really nice accuracy bonus, which uh, some of the other things I can't use in VATS. And so, let's just see. Here's one right here. I can just, like, I can literally use VATS and shoot it straight up. Which I can't do with some of the other ones. So that's kind of an added bonus of this thing. Where I, I, I didn't even, I honestly, I didn't even, I didn't even think that this thing had explosive on it. And so now, like, my thoughts, like, everything has changed about <laughs> My like my whole thoughts about this thing has changed. I was like, oh, it's just a regular one. I'm gonna test it out and see how good it is. And uh, nope, it's uh, even better than I originally thought, which is great to know. All right, so I'll test. The, I'm gonna test the uh, dragon out against. I, I'm gonna test the dragon out against the uh, scorch beast in here. But I but then I think I what I want to do is I want to reload here, and I want to test it. I want to test this out against. Uh, some of the Scorch Beasts outside, since it does have a higher, higher, I, I don't know, I think it just works better with Vats, and so we'll te I'll test that out when I uh, refresh the area. Okay, so this thing right now, currently, I got it up to 39, 3,931 damage, so let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Is there another one? Shoot, no, it's just making noise. 
Come on, get get going so I don't waste my shot. So obviously it's better in vats because the accuracy is higher with the uh What? Wait, what? What just happened? I thought I was gonna one-shot this thing. Okay, that was kind of strange. I think I think obviously this thing's easily able to one-shot. I'm just not sure what I must have missed or something right there. I don't know. I don't know what the case was with that, but um, I I obviously should have easily been able to one-shot that. Because this thing's got 71... Let's see, hold on. Oh, look at the... Uh, okay. Look at the... Like, kind of the spread of the bullets there. And then if you look at the lever action... Let's see. Where... There's got to be more coming, right? Usually there is. Back here. This, I think the spread... Let's just not scope in. I think it's tighter. I think it's just a tighter grouping. And so... Okay, so there's that. Yeah, it's just a tighter grouping. So I think this thing just will work better, period. Because of its ability... Because of how like tight that grouping is. And so I think that overall, this is probably better than the, the handmade, but the handmade is just, I don't know. This, this is making me want to know. It uses 45 in the difference. I have so much 5.56. Five, Although 45 is easier to find than 5.56, five, I think. I kind of actually want to know. I'm kind of thinking this might be better overall than the handmade. Yeah, I think I think I might start using this. See that right there. I don't think I mean. Well, I probably could have done that with the uh, with the handmade, but I think it's just easier with uh, with the lever action. This is this is very interesting. I'm glad I'm doing these testings. Okay, I think I've come to a final conclusion about this. I think I prefer the handmade over the lever action because it fires so fast. I also have tons more ammo for it. Um, this seems to be slightly more accurate in terms of the grouping, but it, and it, I don't think it re reloads slow. I think the reload might be very similar, but the fact that I don't have as much ammo for it and I, I don't know, I just don't like it. The fire rate I think is the biggest thing for me though. And so I, what I wanna do though, I did have, I have another test that I want to, perform before I call it quits for the video. I want to go get the 10 millimeter uh, submachine gun and test that out against the Scorch Beast that's flying around because the the problem, okay, so the I think it's just a bug in general with the Scorch Beast. They seem like they have some kind of thing going on when they're flying around where it doesn't do the damage that you expect it to do and it seems kind of broken and so if I can spam shots at it and just do a ton of damage very quickly, I wonder if that will be the best way of dealing with the best way of dealing with uh, scores. I, I could have just went to the station. I don't know why I went all the way up here. Uh, the best way of dealing with like score speeds might be something like that. Although I don't know, uh, the dragon seems ineffective because of the fact that it has some kind of i mean you could shoot at it it's with a weapon that does like 4,000 damage you would expect it to die extremely fast but you shoot at it and does like a tiny little bit of damage and so something is broken there you know what i mean but i wonder if i can use the submachine gun and that will be better so i'm gonna put this away i actually broke it shooting at that last one there when i was just kind of doing some testing off screen yeah, I, I, I like this thing. I just don't think it's I don't think it's for me. So let's go. I'm going to go and I'm going to test this uh, submachine gun out against the Scorch Beast. And we're going to see uh, if we notice any difference. Okay, so I definitely don't think this thing's going to do what I thought it was going to do against flying Scorch Beast. It's just not... At, they're just not easy to take out uh, with things in general and then with this since it doesn't do as much damage but I wanted I wanted to try it on this just to see how quickly I can whittle its health down don't kill yourself I mean I could do quite a bit of damage to this thing let's reload if I could have opened up the whole thing on it, it would have been cool right there 
I mean, it's, I mean, you can still take them out pretty quick, but you definitely do use a ton of ammo for it. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just interesting. This has been a very interesting video for me to do. And I feel like I've said interesting about a hundred times as well. But, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one of these is your favorite? Which one, uh, if you could have one, which one would you like to have? And then, um, just in general, what are your thoughts about them? Explosive weapons definitely seem kind of crazy and seem right seem like seem broken in a way almost and I don't want to say that because I don't want them to nerf it but you get the picture I mean it's it, it's quite it's quite insane but yeah I don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments below I hope you guys are having a great day things are going well let me know your thoughts love to hear it see you guys in the next one